Welcome, everybody, to the Iceman here on the Iceman Wrestling Network, whether it be Iceman's Return YouTube channel or the Iceman V2013 YouTube channel, both part of the Iceman Wrestling Network. And every now and then we like to um, put it out there for all the, the new subscribers or all the people just visiting the channel, what we really do here on this network. And, you know, it, it's a lot of various things. Um, sometimes... Uh, you know, we'll report news and rumors that are going on in the world of professional wrestling. A lot of them are 50-50 type deals where, you know, you read a lot of stuff and you report it, but not necessarily is it to be true, because um, a lot of times it's not. Uh, we also do factual information. Uh, we do uh, pay-per-view predictions. We talk about wrestling shows uh, like Monday Night Raw, Lucha Underground, uh, Ring of Honor, TNA Impact Wrestling, um, and occasionally we'll do a, a heel video, which um, every now and then, uh, you know, sort of gets everybody into the video because, you know, uh, you get a lot of uh, controversial comments sometimes, and but people call it very, very entertaining, so we do that on an occasional basis. I just recently did a couple heel videos, one on each one of the channels. Um, got a good response uh, from the viewers. So, you know, in any event, uh, this is what we pretty much do here on the Iceman Wrestling Network. And today we're on Iceman's Return YouTube channel. And uh, we have Monday Night Raw tonight. Um, there are rumors, again, 50-50, because we have not seen this superstar in a little bit of time, that there's going to be the return of the Viper Randy Orton, who has just recently gotten engaged. So... Um, looking forward to see Randy Orton. We haven't seen him in quite some time. Um, will we see Brock Lesnar tonight? Will there be some sort of confrontation with Seth Rollins as they get closer to Battleground? Uh, that remains to be seen as well. Uh, other things out there, Ross and Aries, uh, it's been reported he's signed a contract with Ring of Honor, uh, his old stopping grounds. Um, as we all know, the, you know, a lot of major TNA stars have left TNA. Uh, Magnus has gone to Global Force. Bobby Roode has gone to Global Force. Uh, I heard Triple H was interested in James Storm. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see what develops out of that situation. And uh, again, you know, um, this this TNA situation, uh, really, to be quite honest with you, their tapings are all done all the way through, like, I believe, till the end of August. So this leaves all these guys all this opportunity uh, with their free time to venture elsewhere uh, to work other indie shows and to make some more money. And which is, you know, it's that's a good thing. So what happens uh, later on after that with Global Force and TNA, we'll just have to wait and see what develops there. You know, I'm sort of interested in finding out myself. So uh, there are still rumors out there that TNA will have a Bound for Glory this year in October. That has not been officially uh, said by the TNA impact wrestling site as of yet but again we'll just have to wait and see what develops on that note as well so again you know um we try to give you uh your news your wrestling news we try to put the rumors out there or just to report the rumors because a lot of times like i said the rumors are 50 50 and you know it goes either way 50 percent they could come true and 50 percent you know you won't even you won't even uh, see anything regarding to that rumor whatsoever and again well we do report the factual things and the reviews and the predictions and we just talk about wrestling in general so i wanted to put that out there on this monday again monday night raw tonight and uh we'll just wait and see what uh raw brings us uh, as we know last week raw had one of the lowest ratings they've had in a very very long time uh, hopefully the WWE can come up with some, you know, uh, better ideas for their booking. And I think this is the major, major part right now for the WWE is their booking. So, you know, if they can get that all straightened out, they'll be fine. Um, and believe me, with their their lowest ratings of 2015, it's still not really hurting them. Uh, so it's, 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 it's not going to really make that much of a difference for the show. So we'll just have to wait and see. So anyway... I'm putting this out here tonight, um, and uh, if you like the channels, Iceman's Return, 
and it's Iceman's Return, and the Iceman V2013 YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll give you, you know, as much wrestling news as possible, and um, uh, I, I really think that you'll be satisfied. So, peace out, everybody. Have yourself a great day. We'll see you all next time. This is the one and only Iceman.